So today we're going to be looking at what I consider to be the Rolls Royce of rodent kill traps. This video does not feature any kills in action, so if you're here to see that, this is the wrong video. What I'm doing here is reviewing the Good Nature A24 rat and mouse trap system. We have several of them in play here. We're going to talk about things like this bait here, where it says at last count over 1,031,972 pests. Rated our lures as irresistible. We're going to have to say that that's true. We're going to take this through its paces, but I'm going to show you all the features of this trap today. And this uh, bait comes from goodnaturetrapping.com. And where is it made? It's made in New Zealand. I have four of these traps. I've had a couple on the shelf for years because I hold them in reserve in case a rat shows up. But what is around right now are mice. This bait was manufactured August 14th, 2020, so it's fresh. I'm making this video in October of 2020. So this is a rundown showing all the features of the trap. It has uh, a ram that comes out and kills the rodent. There are a lot of things about this trap that I'm going to go over, but this is what's on the box. They're powered by CO2. It's an automatic trap, which means it can kill one mouse or rat after another without having to be reset by you. That means it goes automatically, plus there's a counter that comes with it. The trap automatically resets itself, and then other mice can come in. So these are the features. This, by the way, is a portable trap stand. The early one did not have this. So when I bought these uh, a little over a year ago because I had a rat problem, I put them on the shelf and they used to have to be mounted on the wall. I think this portable stand is a game changer. Plus I went to their website and I ordered extra portable stands to put on my previous versions of this A24. So now I can set them anywhere. Some people have problems with parked cars. Rats and mice will move into your car. You can put this on the floorboards. They come with lure tasters, which you're supposed to put around to see if you've even got a rodent problem, to see if they're going to chew it. They come with little push pins here, and you put them in your shed, your garage, my chicken coop, my bee shed, the basement, the attic, wherever you think there might be mice or rats. This tester, with the bait already loaded, just like that, is going to lure them in, and then when you find the tester chewed by a rat or a mouse or some other rodent, you get six of them, you'll know that that's probably a good location to put your trap. How does this thing work? Look at the underside here. This is where the rodent would go up inside to get the bait, and there is a receiver right there where the plunger, that orange piece on the right, comes across, hits that receiver, and smashes the rodent, really. So there's no blood, and then the trigger is that silver pin that comes across there, and yes, I'm going to test it and show you how that works. And on the back side here, what drives the ram is a CO2 cylinder that comes with it. Looks like it's brass, pretty well made. This is an all-weather trap, so this thing can be out summer, winter, rain, heat, cold, you name it, and it's good to go. It's heavy-duty plastic, and this is the bait side here. You can put a cup in there with your own bait, or you can put the bait that comes from good nature. And I'm going to show you the bait from Good Nature. It's pretty good stuff, and it's pretty durable. If you're not happy with this thing, you can send it back. That's pretty good, because these are not cheap. I have four of them right now. And it's the Automatic Humane Trap A24. 24, it'll do 24 cycles. Look at that symbol there where it says not to put your hand up. They're not kidding. This will hurt you. So this is the CO2 canister that comes with it. It has threads on it. And it has enough for 24 cycles, as I said, with this trap. And it is 16 grams of CO2, carbon dioxide. It's made in Taiwan. And there you have it. it comes from Wellington, New Zealand. And I thought I would compare it with the CO2 canisters that you get that you might be shooting a pellet gun with, for example. No, you can't use your pellet gun CO2 with this unit. For one, those pellet gun CO2 bottles don't have threads on them. So you have to go with the good nature. Plus, if you use a canister other than the good nature CO2, it voids your warranty. So this New Zealand coin comes on this end. This is a bait pack that you put inside. And if you remove that coin, it's an automatic pump, which means it continually refreshes the bait into the trap bit by bit over a period of six months. 
I also got this bag of rat bait, and I'm going to talk to you about that later. And it says pre-feed your site. In other words, put little bits and pieces of that bait around just to see if you can get the rodents in the area interested in it. If they can lick it off the wall, pieces of 2 by 4 the wall of your basement foundation, things like that, then they'll recognize that smell, they like the taste of it, and they'll go seeking the trap. Now this is the old one, it shows how it mounts to the wall, but I like this freestanding mount much better because I just want to put it around. Plus, if it's not getting any action where you put it, pick it up and move it somewhere else. There's two holes in the bottom of it, so you can screw this to something so it doesn't get knocked over. And it also has vents on the side so you can look easily to see if you have a dead animal in it. So we're going to test it start to finish here. I do have a mouse problem. I'm going to show you where they are. And by the end of this video, you're going to see how effective it is. And it looks like this thing is built too big. It's made to accommodate rats and mice, but as you may know, mice are pretty tiny sometimes. So I thought this thing was oversized, and I'm really hoping that they will consider making a smaller version just for mice. There you can hear the ram charging. So the CO2 tank is engaged, screwed right up there. Plus we're going to put the counter on that. But this thing is charged and considered armed. Don't put your finger up there now because you will injure your finger, there's no question about it. Now we're gonna put the counter on. I did observe some things about the counter. If you move it too high up the CO2 tank here, uh, it doesn't vibrate enough for the counter to go off. So I like to keep it down, keep it at the halfway position or lower, or the counts may not register. Now when you push the button here, you need to push it and hold it until it goes to zero. It may have some numbers on it. And now it's zeroed out. So anytime the system cycles and triggers, it will start to count. So if the animal that's been killed and it disappears, you will know by the counter that it actually cycled. It'll last either six months or through 24 cycles before you need to replace that canister. So that's pretty good and this is the bait pack side. You can put your own bait in here with a bait cup or I showed you the little canister that goes in there but let's test the ram. That's a serious trigger and it's hard to hit. And of course that was a slow motion sequence of it cycling this trap is not playing around. If you've ever met rats, they're formidable, they're powerful, they're dangerous. Rats will eat mice. Rats will eat other rats that are dead in a trap. Mice the same. So, they're not good to have around. This is the automatic lure pump and it refreshes the bait for six months. And I did have problems with it, I'll be honest to say, and that is that it kind of pushed out too much of the bait and the mice couldn't keep up with it. Where if it were a rat, for example, it would eat the bait and uh, get back up to the trigger position and then of course trigger the trap and be taken out by that ram that comes across. This is what the bait looks like and it's threaded on the end so you want to make sure that when you put that in it threads into the back of the Good Nature A24 trap. And this is what the bait looks like. It says it's chocolate but it doesn't smell anything like chocolate. You have to replace the gas lure every six months. And also this shows the whole kit, everything that comes with it. And these are my chickens in one of my coops. We have three chicken coops. This one in particular has mice running around in it. How do we know? Because we see their droppings everywhere. And there you go. There's rat poo, rat droppings, mouse droppings. And they're along the walls of the coop. They go everywhere. So we're going to put lures up in here, even though I really don't need that step, because I know that the rodents are here. But I put the test lure up. Of course, my chickens came and picked it off later. Look at this guy, underneath the drinker. That's a house mouse. Now, often we come across deer mice, but this is the culprit here, house mouse. You see one, there'll be plenty around. So that's what we're trying to trap. And I'm curious if the trap is too tall. But I put the bait there, and I put some teaser lure bits, little dabs on the walls there, so that the mice can start to eat that. We're also going to look at the other trap here. This is one that I've had on the shelf for, like I said, over a year. It comes with that bait bottle, 
Same thing, toxin-free lures. By the way, the bait is non-toxic, although people should not eat it. And the early one was marked Rat and Stoat A24 Trap. So we're going to load this up with the CO2 canister again. I'm putting four of these out because for this review, I want to see how they perform under a variety of circumstances, all indoors, of course. Although these do function outside, my target animals are already inside, in my basement, in my bee shed, in the chicken coop, and in the garage. So this shows the stuff that comes with it. It's set up exactly the same way, although this one has the wall mount and there are stainless steel screws that come with it so that you can attach that orange wall mount bracket and then put this anywhere you need to. Hopefully where you found mouse or rat droppings. Now this one's charged and ready to go too. Unsafe for fingers. Put the counter on there and remember to put the counter lower on the canister. Now that was a really slow motion function there and what you heard bouncing off in the distance was one of those stainless steel screws that took off. I should have removed them before I cycled the trap. They're no joke. www.automatictrap.com Now this is the old bait jar that used to come with it and you give it a little squeeze and get the bait to push out here over this grid. And then the goal is for the rodent to get up in there and chew at that to try to get at the bait. And here it is, wall mounted in the basement of my garage. In the basement. It's actually on the floor of my garage. And the only limiting height thing there was the fact that I had to have the counter down lower. In this position it was too high and did not count the cycles on me. So you want to lower it a little bit. And again, mouse droppings. Wherever mice or rats go, they are putting out their waste constantly. And here I see we got a mouse in the chicken coop. So this does answer my question. Is the unit too large for a mouse to go up into? It isn't. They jump right up in there. And down here, this one's a deer mouse. So we've got two of those already in the garage. And we got two already in the chicken coop. That would be a rooster. And I decided to put a little wooden shim in here so that smaller mice would be able to get up in there and still reach the bait. This has had three kills already. By the end of my testing, I got four of them. Here's the trap sitting in the basement along the basement wall, just under the floor joists here. And the mice were able to go right up in there. They were very careful about it. Remember that when you set up a new trap, specifically with rats, this can take weeks. The reason for that is they have new object phobias. Which means when you put something new in an area, don't go moving it around. If you know for sure that they're there, leave it there. Rats can take weeks before they warm up to something and actually go in and take the bait. Mice are a little quicker. This is a mouse running around, a deer mouse. But when it comes to rats, you gotta wait them out. If you change it every day or every couple days and move it to a new position, you'll lose the rat and they won't trust it. Don't forget to spread the bait around. Now here was the problem I had. You can see that the mice have been chewing at the bait but the bait comes out of the trap at too high a rate. So they actually were getting more than enough bait and there was no reason for them to go all the way up and trigger it. This led me to another thought. How weather durable is the bait? So I mix it up here with Dawn dish detergent, which is supposed to be a great degreaser. And I'm running this under very hot tap water and I wanted to see how quickly it would dissolve. Because if these were going to be outside, it would rain on them, water would flush on it, and the bait might wash out. But let me tell you, that is all weather bait. So I'm going to try another bait. These are Reese's Peanut Butter Cups. Chocolate and peanut butter. Supposed to be a fantastic enticement for rodents, mice in particular. And so I thought I would put one of these in one of the bait cups that you can buy separately. I recommend you get them if you want to try unique baits. And I put that in there. I even teased it on the bottom here with some little bits, trying to get that mouse that's in my basement. The mouse came through, threw that paper wrapper out and did not trigger the trap. So these are the automatic loading baits. Remember these packets last for six months and continue to refresh themselves. 
What do you do after you've trapped your animals? You put the dead mice and stuff outside in a consistent location and wildlife comes like this raccoon. So they get used to the dead rodents that you put out there that we were recycling. We're not just killing them and throwing them in the garbage. We might as well feed the wildlife. This is well away from the house, of course. You don't want to bring in predators to come and hunt your chickens and things like that. I think that raccoon was making happy sounds. Comes another raccoon, different one. Again, now there's three mice laying out there. This thing will also work in your garden if you have vole problems. Once you set it in position, you can put it under a box. This buck, white-tailed deer, showed up and was very interested in the mice on the ground, sniffed them for a while, even came back a couple of times. We know that a white-tailed deer will actually eat bird eggs they find on the ground, and in some cases, even the baby birds. But they didn't eat the mice. I thought that was going to be very interesting if that showed up here. Raccoon comes again. These are over a period of several nights, of course. This isn't all one night. But you get a chance putting out the rodents that you've killed to see what kind of wildlife comes through to pick up their bodies. And they don't even have to be fresh if it's a day or two old. The other thing is, once you have a dead mouse or rat in the trap in the A24, will that deter other mice or rats from coming and triggering the trap too? Nope. In the chicken coop in particular, I found them piled up two at a time. Now look at this customer. And here comes the skunk. Skunks are a cleanup crew. They like to eat all kinds of bugs, ground wasps, hornets, and they even like mice. Off goes the skunk. Here comes the buck again on another night. And I will share with you that I really did like the A24. These things are expensive. I looked them up on Amazon. Amazon has them priced currently too high. Highly recommend you go directly to the website. Good Nature is the name of the company. And here I laid some of the mice underneath a pile of leaves to see who would discover them first. And this tenacious little skunk dug right in there and found the mice. So you get your best price going straight to the website. There goes a possum. Walked through like it didn't even see them, but then seemed to have a change of heart. Came back. Oh, look. There's food. Here's a fox. So comfortable, he decided to take a seat and eat there. So you have a rat problem. You have a real challenge. Rats are smart. They pay attention to everything. Remember, new object phobia. Take your time. Outsmart them. And I highly recommend you don't just set one trap, you set many. I have solved my chicken coop mouse problem. I have solved my basement mouse problem. And I have solved my beehive house mouse problem. So I like the A24. I hope you like it too. No blood, no mess. the most humane kill trap you can find.